PeteTools.com. G'day guys, how are we all going today? Another beautiful day here on my side of the world. Hey, uh, what I'm on about today, guys, I was around my mate's place the other day and uh, we were working in his workshop and he turned his bloody compressor on and it started leaking from the bottom, from the bottom of the tank. And he said, oh, hold on a minute, Pete, I'll just uh, fix that. So he grabbed the compressor, we pulled the compressor out, he drained the air out of it, and then he grabbed his bloody MIG torch. I said, hey, what the hell are you doing? He said, oh, I'm just going to weld up this little pinhole. Anyway, guys, that's what we're talking about today. The dangers of welding up a pressure vessel. I mean, I've done a lot of stupid things in my life, but there's no way in hell I'd weld on a pressure vessel. I mean, I'm quite fond of my head. <laughs> anyway, guys, same as usual. You like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below if you want. And uh, let's get into it. So guys, I picked up this old compressor tank at the dump and I thought I'd pull it to bits and show you guys if it's rusty or if it's not rusty. I don't know if this is rusty or it's not, but we'll just rip it apart with the plasma cutter and we'll see what the bottom of the tank looks like. Um, and I'll also show you what the main reason is why these tanks rust out. And also, did you know these things can bloody explode and kill you? <laughs> oh, a really good video today, guys, aren't we being morbid? <laughs> Anyway, I mean this tank is about 10 years old, it may even be more than that, but it's still got the sticker on it, and what does it say? Warning, drain moisture from tank every week to prevent rust. And the bloody thing will blow up too if you don't do that, guys. I'll show you where the valve is. Here we go here, see this one here, it's just got a tap on it, on off. Some of them you have to unscrew. But it'll have some sort of tap like this at the lowest point of your compressor here. I never used to drain the water out of mine either. But it's just not worth the hassle because the compressor only lasts a couple of years if you don't drain the water. And um, you also get all sorts of rusty water spitting in your airline when you're trying to use air tools and that sort of thing. So to save a lot of drama guys, it's just easier just to drain it once a week. Also another thing guys, if you look on the end of the thing, it'll actually give you a manufacturer's date. Wait till we zoom in a little bit guys. See, it actually gives you the manufacturer's date, which this is 20, the 0220, and it tells you when it was um, hydrostatically tested on that date, but it doesn't give you an expiry date, really. It says the inspector's name, but it isn't, and in the capacity. I think a lot of these little compressors, they don't have expiry dates on them, but you just gotta use your common sense, eh? Because I've actually seen one of these things explode before, and it's not a good look, eh? It blew the windows out of the garage and all sorts of things. So, like I say, I've done a lot of silly things in my life, but I'm really fond of keeping my head on my shoulders. So, yeah, just a few little tips to stop yourself from getting blind to kingdom come would be a good idea, I thought. <laughs> so what we'll do, guys, before I start attacking this with the plasma torch, I want to make sure that it's empty. I already reckon it's empty, but we're just going to make sure anyway. I'm just going to take a fitting off so that I can see into the tank. Yep, I can see into the tank. There's nothing coming out there hitting me in the face. So that'll be safe to plasma cut. So that'll be safe to cut the bottom off it. I wouldn't even attempt doing this if this was a uh, gas tank or an LPG tank because they're just dangerous. Even if you think they're empty and you go and do some plasma cutting or welding, you're trying to weld to them, they just freaking blow up in your face. So it's probably not a good look, guys. <laughs> so what I'll do, guys, I think I'll just cut the struts off of the legs so we can see what we're doing. And then I might cut along the seam here, or just next to the seam, so we can cut all the way out the bottom, and then we can see what we're looking at, see if it's rusty or it's not rusty, or what's going on inside it. <laughs> Perfect, the Mindo! You just love destroying things, I do anyway. Turn them over. Right, what do 
we're going to cut out guys so we've got our drain here so that's going to be about where the uh, rust should be if there's going to be any and uh, so we'll take might take out the whole bottom of the tank and we'll have a look eh why not give it a crack Nigel give it a crack Touch it quite easy, guys. Like I say, guys, never do this on a propane tank, even if you think it's empty. actually thicker than I thought it would be guys. Kind of about as straight as a dog pulling leg, but never mind. Dangers love plasma cutting guys. If you're new to plasma cutting guys, this is how easy it is. It's freaking awesome. Check out the other videos, I've got hundreds of them about plasma cutting. Mostly about cheap plasma cutting, because I'm as cheap as chips, please. No point spending a lot more money than what you've got, guys. My theory is you use what you've got in your garage. Right, Yodi Coyote. See how uh, it's a lot quicker when I've got a seam to run down, guys. It helps you cut nice and straight as well. Right, so what do we end up with, guys? Who would know? Let's have a look. Oh, she's smoking good anyway, guys. Hit the camera, good on you, Pete. Oh, look at all that water on there, fellas. And I drained it as well. See all that condensation? Can see all this water in here? Check out all this water in here, guys. And it's been drained as well, and it's been sitting in my shed for God knows how long. So this is what we ended up with, guys. Look at all this crap in here. This is our drain plug here. Look, there's rust everywhere. Look at all this crap here. Absolutely amazing. And that's starting to eat through the bottom of the tank. Once you get a little pinhole in here, actually I think there's a pinhole down here, if you have a look, it's just starting to come here. And down here as well. So we turn this round guys, see we've got our drain here. There's our drain, and this is where all the rust and shit is sitting right here. And what a lot of guys do, is once you get a pinhole through here, they, they weld it. And because you only see the pinhole from one side, it's probably rusted all the way out here. So they put a little patch on it, and then they pump their air compressor up, and then they're walking past one day, and the thing decides to frickin' blow its guts all over the place, and you could kill yourself. Anyway, it's not a good look, that's what I think anyway. So just, just a safety tip, guys. Always remember to drain your uh, air compressor. Only takes two seconds, could save your life. Not to mention, save you buying another air compressor in two or three years. Actually, guys, I'm quite surprised how thick this is. This is probably four mil. 4 millimeters, so it's quite a good tank and I knew that for the simple reason that it had all the information stamped on the end of it sometimes the really really cheap compressors don't have anything on the end of them and they're made of quite lightweight tank material and they're only really good for blowing up tyres, you know what I mean? So we have a look inside this tank guys, right inside I don't know if we can see right inside but let me fiddle around with the camera and I'll show you If you can see in there guys, the whole tank is actually rusted out right from the water on the bottom here, right up the sides this end here, this end here, 
It's got that much sludge and crap on it, see that? And this is just from a normal little household compressor. It obviously hasn't been drained in its working life and this is what you end up with. And that's how you bugger your tanks and that's how you get all sorts of accidents with these silly things. So guys, that was Pete's useless lesson for the day. Never weld on a pressure vessel because you'll find yourself floating in orbit. <laughs> anyway guys, same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below and we can have a bit of a yarn and we'll see you next time mate and stay safe with your compressor. Pete's tools.com.com.com.